Hello everyone, good afternoon, good morning, or whatever time you're watching this. My name is Porfirio Gutierrez, welcome to my studio. I'm in the uh, tool room in Bell Arts Factory here in Ventura. Uh, I just want to share a little bit about what I'm doing and what's my space like. And I uh, wanted just to introduce you guys uh, briefly about the work that I'm doing and I continue to do here throughout uh, Ventura. And uh, so wh what you see here, these are some of the elements that I use for the colors. Those are um, Flor de Cempasuchi for some of the yellow dyes. Use it also for over dyes to obtain oranges, to obtain uh, green colors over dye with indigo and so forth. What we have here is a uh, metate. It is a grinding stone that uh, I use to grind some of these pigments that you see here. The color that you see on this metate, it, it comes from cochineal insect. These are cochineal insect that breeds on prickly pear cactus. Those are, are the insects that gets to be grinded up with this grinding stone and you begin to uh, see the carmine, the incredible red that we know so much about. Other elements that I have here are, this is pericon for the yellow dyes. It is also here for used for medicine purposes. Other elements like indigo, huisache, potassium elements used for color fasting. So all the colors that you see on all the pieces you, you see here are either come from fruit, plants, and insects. This is a perfect example, the piece that you see here, it's a perfect example of the two shades of red on the, that comes from cochineal insect. It is a design called butterflies. And of course, this one gives you a, a great representation on the different shades of indigo and, and of course the blues. This is another design that is uh, butterflies uh, with the background of tree moss, cochineal insect and indigo. You are going to see on this display here, uh, these are more traditional designs. So I am a Zapotec uh, native from Oaxaca, Mexico. Uh, but have been living here in California or in Ventura for the last 23 years. So this is the work I continue to honor where I came from, but also uh, where I'm at now. So this is the base, the foundation of my art form. This is what I've learned to do at a very young age. And the rest of the first designs that I've shown earlier are my original design. So all those pieces that you just saw are made on this loom. And before you get to start weaving one piece, obviously the dyeing takes place. Uh, and also uh, prior to that, uh, harvesting and collecting the plants takes place. And then dyeing process, and into design the pieces, and then finally to the loop. So the loom, it is a um, thread loom. These are harnessed. This is what we call harness. The harness are attached to the pedals you see on the bottom. Once you step on each pedal, what it does is it helps to open up the work. So you could then pass the yarn through the work and then weave into the, weave the piece. So the loom, all it does it, it is just helps to place the structure in place. In this case, the, the weaver would have to uh, weave the design, meaning the loom does not make you create the design. That does not help to create the design.
what I'm doing right now, I'm weaving, uh, doing just a plain weave. I'm just actually about to finish this piece. And these are hand spun yarn. One of the ways for you to know the difference between machine spun yarn and hand spun yarn, it is there's some unevenness to it because it's made by hand from humans. So it will never be just perfect as a machine spun yarn would be. But I'm really interested in working, continue working with this raw material because it creates such an interesting depth on the piece. So if you see on this piece here, you see some of some variations. Here it's a little bit more um, brownish, more dark, and then it goes into beige. It, it, there's some comes and goes of these uh, the colors that creates a very interesting depth, which you you do see uh, in pieces like this. So the majority of the color that you see on this piece is from um, it just hand spun or raw material, the gray, the beige, and you see some depth there too. This is a very traditional design that was very popular um, 70s and even to the 80s. And then from there, the, the traditional work became to be much more intricate. And uh, as for my original design, um, as you can see, it's much more simplicity. Uh, there's a uh, much more um, straight lines and so forth in my original designs so thank you guys so much for visiting me i hope you guys can come and visit me in person i do have visits um now just please uh, with all the uh requirements of our mask and so forth but um hopefully you guys can come and visit thank you